welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my social media channels. In today's video, I will be showing you how to install Streamlabs in Windows 10. To start off with, first you need to click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you are on this page, you now need to click on Download Streamlabs and you need to go Save File. Once the file has finished downloading, you now need to run the setup file and you now need to read the terms and conditions and press accept and you now need to choose where you'd like to install Streamlabs to I'm going to install it on my C drive once you are happy you can go ahead and press install once Streamlabs has finished installing you now need to keep run Streamlabs ticked and press finish and this is what Streamlabs looks like you can now go ahead and connect to your social media accounts if you want I'm going to go ahead and press skip for now and you can now import your settings from OBS if you do have OBS installed on your machine. If you don't, then don't worry because you can start from fresh. I'm actually going to talk through start from fresh with you. You need to go ahead and press start fresh and you can now choose a theme. There's hundreds of themes in Streamlabs OBS, but for now we can go ahead and choose one from here. I'm just going to choose a really random one. Let's go with the Facebook one down the bottom right hand corner. It's now adding the theme. Straight away, as you can see, this is the starting soon page, which will be displayed before you start your stream. If you now go to the left hand side and click on the live scene, this is what will be displayed when you are streaming. Here's a list of all the sources. As you can see, we currently have two webcam frames and we have our webcam. If you go on the plus here, we can add a new source and you have lots of different options. We have an image, we have display capture, game capture. For example, game capture is the source you would use if you want to capture the screen of a game. If you want to do display capture, this will capture your window screen. I'm going to go ahead and select that one now. You do have window capture as well and video capture, which is like webcam and then you have audio capture. Let's go ahead and select display capture. You now need to press add source and I'm going to leave this as display capture and press add source. And straight away, as you can see, it's now capturing my desktop. If I press done, there we go. That looks really weird and horrible, but yeah, you can see that's what absolutely fine. If I was to now go live, that will straight away then stream what you can see in this window here onto everyone else's screen. If we now go down to be right back, this is the screen that you would display if you're going to go away from your keyboard for a bit. You then have ending soon, which is what you'd display if you're going to end your stream soon. With regards to actually streaming in Streamlabs when it comes to the settings, if you go down to the bottom left hand corner of Streamlabs and click on settings, you can then go down to stream. This is where you get to choose where you'd like to stream at Streamlabs to. For example, we could stream it to Twitch, we could stream it to YouTube, Mixer, Facebook, lots of different options there. We can then go to output and we can then set up what our video bitrate will be and the encoder and audio bitrate. This is very important, this bit, to get it correct because if you set the values too high or too low, you can end up with stuttering, pixels, lag, you can end up with lots of different issues when streaming. I will go through the best settings in another video because we are running out of a bit of time on this video now. On the left hand side we also have our audio where we can choose what audio we want. We then have video, yet again we can then change some scaling and also the resolution that's being displayed. We then have game overlay. We also have the appearance. As you can see there are hundreds of options in Streamlabs and that is why I really do like Streamlabs and I highly recommend you give it a try. And that brings us to the end of this video. Like I said, I will go through lots of the settings in another video, the best settings to use when streaming and how to make your streams better. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. 
don't forget to check out my social channels.